um, I think not only Imran Khan, I think the people that have been targeted to be sent to military courts should not be tried in military courts because the scope of the Army Act with regards to trying civilians and the spirit of it and its language is very clear. It is only a very limited scope which applies to when civilians are abetting terrorists or are found to be working in collusion with the uh, sources within the army to bring down or to bring discredit to the forces or in, in uh, some way uh, where a trial is necessary with the expertise of the military forum. Um, when you are uh, hooligan, when you are accused of hooliganism, regardless of which area you were being hooligan in, that is a civil jurisdiction and ought to be tried in civil courts. And this government is setting a very odd and uh, frankly illegal precedent by sending those hooligans to military courts to face trial as if it is in itself a form of punishment. Having said that, the idea of then roping in a political party leader into this process as well, again, just as a form of punishment, uh, adds to the farce that is this process and the way it has begun and the way it is proceeding. However, uh, can he be tried? In my opinion, no, uh, in, in within the law. But this has stopped being about the law a long time ago. Uh, so if they wanted to, uh, they, they could try it. The fact that not even um, the ordinary hooligans should be uh, tried in this for forum uh, points towards how uh, Imran Khan shouldn't be tried there at all. Should he be tried? Absolutely not. Uh, he should not be, neither should any of the hooligans as I've stated before. These were uh, shameful crimes. These were acts that uh, may have been triggered in the way that the government is saying by the party leadership. But that doesn't mean that the forum should be anything other than a civilian court of law where there is due process in their trial. And frankly, I don't think this is a government position. I think Rana Sanaullah has shot his mouth a little bit and I fail to see how the entirety of the PDM coalition will get behind it. Um, it would be interesting to see the divisions that appear within the PDM because it's quite clear, at least to me, that the People's Party is unwilling to, uh, to hang about this idea of uh, military trials and uh, that reluctance is now showing and, and uh, I, I'm sure the PMLN cannot afford a crack in the ruling coalition such as it is right now. Anas Naula is uh, acting uh, more loyal than the king. Uh, I think it's become very clear the way this government is behaving that uh, there is desperation uh, to its actions, that it realizes uh, the mandate cannot be taken from the people, uh, that any, any election or any electoral exercise must be avoided or delayed until there are more. It has stopped pretending to hide behind the fig leaf of propriety. Uh, these are absolutely farcical uh, steps that it has taken with regards to. Uh, if we are to believe that they are going to prosecute Imran Khan in a military court, uh, this, is, uh, this is an act of desperation against what is a more popular political force.